Leroy Nell with the Indiana Bigfoot Research Organization. Hi, this is Leroy Nell with the Indiana Bigfoot Research Organization. And we're out in the middle of the forest tonight on a back road. Hopefully we're going to hear something. It just what happens, the spot we're in is a very hot spot. Believe it or not, it's right on a, on a county road. But this is the extremely hot spot. We've had a number of cases happen here, another, a number of encounters that we didn't and had right in this spot. Um, let me see, let me think about one of them um, off the top of my head. Okay, so in this spot, we had an evening where there was four of us here and we were sitting off in a parking lot off to the side listening because we we hear a number we have a number of encounters here where they'll come in around us they might throw rocks at us they might just you might hear them do a whoop or something but we're sitting here one night and one of the guys is standing about right where I am right now. He's standing out here. I'm sitting over on the side, leaning on the back of my truck, and my wife's sitting on the tailgate of the truck. And he looks at me and he goes, hey, come here, walk out here. So I walk out into this road. As you can see behind me, we're on a, on a county road. And I walk out and I look, and to my right, we're looking into a hillside. Nothing but woods and into a hillside. As soon as I looked back there, you would thought someone had a yellow, bright emerald green glow stick behind a tree because it had that whole tree lit up on the back side of it. And I'm like, oh my God, this is so unreal. Okay, hold on. Okay, we're gonna back up here just a second. And um, the stuff that you were seeing behind the screen or in the, in the shot, there's some kind of fog or something here, so that's not special effects. That's not orbs that's flying behind us or anything up and down the road. There's some kind of like a, a light fog or something along the road tonight. So that's why that's coming up on the camera that way. But we backed up because the, the, the story is Jerry was with me. He was the guy that was with me, him and his wife was with, with us. And you're the first one that actually seen yeah. the eye shine. Yeah. So can you tell us what you seen or what how you experienced when oh. you were standing out here and you looked over and Well, everybody was sitting over there in the chair and I just got up and walked out here into the middle of the road and we'd been talking about eye shine and Leroy even asked for eye shine. And I was just out here and I looked over in the woods and there was two green eyes looking at me and they were kind of dim at first, but they got a little bit brighter and a little bit brighter. And so that's when I turned around, I said, hey, Leroy, come here a minute. So he came over and- And I, that's when I walked out here yep. and looked over and I'm like, wow, that's unreal. <laughs> you know, just a total shock. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's the first time I've ever seen eye shine like that. But no question in our mind. There was no question in no, either of our mind no. at that point of what we was really looking at. Absolutely not. You know, there was no question. It's not like it was going, is that some kind of a light? No, it's like that is unexplainable. Definitely. So I told Nancy, I said, Nancy, come here and look. And she gets off the tailgate of the truck. This is how long this is going on. She gets off the tailgate of the truck and she walks out here and she says, wow, I see both eyes. Yeah. <laughs> and then we watch those eyes dim down, get bright again, and then they dim down, and then they go out. Now, the thing about it, this wasn't 50 yards from no, us. No, probably 40 yards. Yeah, 40, 50 yards. Now, we never heard nothing walk up, and we never heard nothing walk away. Mm -mm. But now, we had heard some movement before yeah. that was back behind us, mm -hmm. but nothing that we was going, yeah, there's something here tonight. But it was definitely a shocker, you know, oh, that yeah. we seen it that night. Now, that was Emerald Green. Now, we was here another night, and we had a couple from southern Indiana that was with us. Mm -hmm. they're, they're actually out of um, Evansville, and they was here, and the wife was standing out. She was standing, the lady was standing out here in the middle of the road, just like what we are right now. And she looks, and she's looking down this way, and I seen her actually make a jump back. 
And I'm like, why? And she goes, someone with a red flashlight just walked across the road. Mm -hmm. Well, we're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> There's no trail down there. Where she was talking about, there is no trail. So why would someone have a red flashlight and walk across the road going from coming from nowhere going to nowhere going to nowhere <laughs> with a red flashlight now if they walked across there was a regular flashlight okay you know, I'll, I'll buy that but a red light one person i still believe to this day that what she's seen she's seen one walk across that had red eye shine mm -hmm. that night and that's what she actually seen walk across because i seen her literally jump back and take a couple steps back as she was looking down through there and going, what, what, what was that? Mm -hmm. And so that's still what I believe on that. That's why I said we have had a number of different things that's happened to us right here. How many things can you think of that? Oh, a lot of things. We've had howls and had, I can't tell you how many times we've had rocks thrown at us from yeah. across the road. Yeah, we've had rocks thrown at us. And, and when we say these things are thrown, they don't, you hear them coming through the woods. Yeah. You actually hear it go, tss, 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 and then hit. Mm -hmm. I've had them hit on the bed of the truck and bounce up underneath the toolbox of the truck. Mm -hmm. They come in from an angle. They didn't drop straight no. down. No. And we've had people standing here with thermal imagers, and you can see the heat on that rock mm -hmm. as it's up in there. You know, we can pick that rock back up. Mm -hmm. And still very strange. We see that come in, but using thermal imagers, haven't seen nothing in the woods. Haven't seen what's throwing them. But something's throwing them. But something <laughs> is throwing them. That's right. <laughs> something is throwing them. And in this particular spot here, it may not be talked much about, but mm -hmm. we say the funny thing about this area yeah, okay. is barn owls don't throw rocks. That's right. And that's what happens. That we'll hear what you assume is barn owls coming in. Mm -hmm. But barn owls don't throw rocks. But... Yep. These ones do. Yep. You'll hear them come in. They'll come from a distance from us. They may come from all the way up the top of this ridge off here to my right. Or from every direction. Or sometimes. other, you know, they may be one coming from that direction. There may be one coming from the other direction. And they'll come in here, mm -hmm. and then directly you'll hear rocks coming through the trees going tss, 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 yeah. and hit beside us. Mm -hmm. You know, which you're going, ah, <laughs> burn house, don't throw rocks. No. <laughs> So, you know, that, that's some of the stuff that we've had happen here. Anything else that you can think of right I've off heard, the bat? I've heard lots of tree knocks. Yeah, we've heard lots like of tree knocks. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing else. But, like. but we've had a, a number of even more larger encounters than that. Um, we've had handprints put on vehicles right here. That's true. Um, there was one couple that had it ran around their Jeep and smacked their Jeep while they were sitting here. And scared her enough, she didn't even go back out for over a year. Yeah, it was a year <laughs> before she went back out in the woods again. She kind of quit Bigfooting at that point and said, mm -hmm. done, because so it had scared her so bad. And we've had a number of cases here. So again, that's why we're out here tonight. We're hoping maybe we might hear something. Maybe we'll have some kind of encounter. And we're gonna ask the forest people to come in and see us tonight. Let us know that you're here. Let out a let out a whip on us for us. Do a tree knock. Anything that you'd like. We'd love to hear you. And we'd definitely love to see those eyes. Yeah. You light up your eyes for us tonight and we'll be totally excited. And believe it or not, that is the way that we big foot. That's it. We that come out here and we good. sit down in our chairs. And we wait for them to come in because if you go down in the woods, all you're going to do is they're just going to walk around you and say, get out of my way. Now, before it gets too much lighter tonight, we'll shut this off so we don't have a bright light shining. That's right. So thanks for joining the Indiana Bigfoot Research Organization. And hopefully we'll talk about something later that might have happened tonight. And a lot of times they start going off. That's, right. That's close on the ground. Wow. That's nice. Can you show us your eyes? I know you're right there. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I did.
<laughs> Thank you for letting our friends hear you. I don't even think I've ever heard like even b the barred owls sound that like close. that before. That close. Oh, right. <laughs> right here. He was right on top of it. <laughs> I don't even think owls get that close to people. Uh -uh. They're totally awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Wow. Yes, thank you. We'd love to see your eyes. Can you light them up? That would be something. What was that? Wow. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are totally awesome. <laughs> Unbelievable. That is something. I recorded that. That's cool. Are you kidding me? Yeah, but sometimes they so wrong. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is up, honey? I still can't figure that out. That sounds out. like it's right on the ground. Right yeah. Right yeah. I'm going to talk a little bit about the video that we shot last night that's in the front of this to put a little bit of context to it. Um, before that video had even started, or as we was actually starting the video at the first of it, we just pulled into this lo into that location. My wife was already in the back of her mind asking for them to come and show us their eyes and come in and visit us. Now, if that's what really happens or not, we don't know. We, we don't have that answer. But we've seen a few times now that we've asked for them to come in, and that's, that is what happened. Now, right after we shot that video last night, the rest of our party showed up within just, just a few minutes of us being there. I, it probably wasn't no more than five minutes. Everybody showed up. And then we kind of settled down and was sitting down in our chairs and we was talking about what was going on. It, it probably hadn't been 10 minutes when all the owls went off. Now, it's hard to hear in that in the video. When I realize that, most people are going to say, well, that's just... That was just uh, an owl, barn owl. Well, it could be. I'm not gonna say that it wasn't, but it's awful coincidental. It sounded like us to us. There was two to three of them. They was right together. And that was within 40, 40 to 50 yards of us in the exact same location that we've seen eye shine in this area. So it's all coincidental. And then as the evening went, and we may make another video about that and talk some more about that. But after I left, they believe they seen eye shine moving away from us going up the hill. So again, we had several things happen last night um, right after that video. So I just want to give a little bit of an update on that. Now, if, if you're listening at that video, towards the end of it, at the last time there's an owl, just before that, there's a lower, and it almost sounds like a whoop. So, I'm gonna try to play it again here, and loop, loop the video so that you actually hear that. Uh, right here. <laughs> right on top of it. <laughs> I don't even think owls get that close to people. Uh -uh. They're totally Maybe awesome, they're thanks guys. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Wow. We'd love to see your eyes. Can you light them up? That would be something. What was that? Thanks for watching.